As many of you have heard, XAN comes pre-installed in Lion. To enable it, just take any machine that has a fiber channel card, go to System Preferences, click on XAN, and click on Enable XAN. Once you've enabled it, go to the Applications Utilities folder where you'll find XAN Admin. Using XAN Admin, you can uh, create volumes, create SANs, or use it to upgrade from Snow Leopard into Lion. When you open it, go ahead and, if this is a new installation that is, click on Configure New SAN, and then provide a name for the SAN and an email address for the SAN administrator. Then select which machines you want to add to the SAN, and provide the username and password that for the administrative account on the local system where you're doing this configuration. Click on Continue. It'll go ahead and authorize the account, and then it'll ask you which network interface to use for metadata. You should always have a second Ethernet interface for metadata. Click Continue, and you'll be taken through the end of the configuration wizard for the SAN. Once the SAN is complete, then it's time to create the volume. Creating a volume is pretty simple. Go ahead and click Create Volume Now, and then provide a name for the volume, and choose a type. The volume type greatly impacts performance on the fiber channel disks that you're going to use for your volume, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the volume type, click on Continue. Or, in this case, we're going to go ahead and click on Advanced Settings, and we're going to look at some of these. There's, you'll notice as you choose different different types, you'll see um, different block allocation sizes, different alloc the allocation strategy will remain the same. We're going to enable Spotlight since it works a little bit better in Lion, and we're going to disable native extended attributes because someday we may have problems with those. And then we're going to click OK. Then we're going to click Continue. Then we're brought to a screen where we can label LUNs. So any fiber channel LUNs that are sitting on our fiber channel fabric, at this point, we can label if we want to. We're going to choose manual, and then we're just going to go through this because I've already pre-labeled the LUNs that we're going to be using. So we're not actually going to do any LUN configuration at this time. Or I guess I could do one. Doesn't hurt. All right. <clears throat> so. Now we're going to take those LUNs, drag them into a volume. We're going to remove the default affinity tags that Apple includes, and we're just going to be left with the one. We're going to go ahead and say it can hold any data. That way it has the metadata. And on a production volume, you probably wouldn't do this, but this is just a little test volume. And we're not going to change the stripe breadth, really. Or maybe we can. Sure. And then continue. <clears throat> it's telling us that we probably don't want to configure a volume the way we are, because what we're doing is we're putting our metadata and our data lines on the same, and we're only using two instead of four, which XAN really likes to have four lines. So. Now we're going to go ahead and choose which systems are going to be metadata controllers for that volume specifically, and then we're going to hit continue. <clears throat> At this point, we're in XAN admin, and we can see the volume, we can see the size, we can look at the LUNs that are part of the volume, and we can mount and unmount the volume on each system that has been added into XAN admin. We can also add clients from here. So let's go ahead and um, open up slash volumes and we can see the volume that we just created. And then once we can see it, let's open it and then we're just gonna create some random folders. And now, now that we've got some folders, let's go ahead and create an affinity for them. You do this by clicking on the, and from XAN admin going to file management and then from file management, the volume name. And then you click on the folder, and then you use the cog wheel to say set affinity. Here you select which storage pool is associated to that affinity, and this is a way of just providing specific folders that have specific performance requirements. So next, let's add a Snow Leopard client. So when you, uh, when you go to computers, 
we'll just add client. Here's our Snow Leopard client, pretty generic. We're going to add a username and admin password, and then go to continue. Now, while Xan is free and built into Lion, it's worth noting here that if you try to add a Snow Leopard client, you will be prompted to enter license codes. However, if you had XAM with Snow Leopard, chances are you have some license codes sitting around. Next, a quick look at the command line in XAN. Most of the commands have not changed at all. They have, in many cases, been moved to library file system or system library file systems acfs.fs contents bin. Although there are copies in many cases in user sbin or user bin. If you run CB admin. You'll notice that almost everything looks pretty much the same. Select shows you your active metadata controller, fail allows you to fail over, etc. And then if you run CV label, you'll notice the labels look the same. Thanks and enjoy XAN and Lion.